<laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to my new speedrun on the all of, uh, Monopoly Sid Meier with no single gate glitch. I recently did a run on Great Britain, but I realized that my run with all objectives Monopoly actually was quicker already on South West, so I figured that's just better. And you hear this. You need to start in Los Angeles. Uh, that is the first thing. The reason you need to start in Los Angeles is because Los Angeles and San Diego, they are very, very close to each other. So you can do this inching here, where I move the station of Los Angeles very close to San Diego, which will generate a lot of revenue when it comes to passenger and mail. Um, the bonus here is also that one of the opponents has his terminal in San Diego. So he will be practic practically he, he will not get any money at all, which will cause him to sell his stocks, which will make it much easier for me to take uh, to buy him out. So you see now I am completing the inching here. I am uh, connecting the two dots to them. The inching is actually quite difficult. Um, there's very little hitbox on on those tiny bits of rail, so it's easy to miss them. Uh, I have paused the game and I now set the game to double speed while I am playing. Uh, while I was just as I released the pause, and I upgrade terminal to both of them as it will generate a significant amount of revenue for me. Here I also noticed that in Los Angeles there is a smeltery. So if I think it is green, I cannot really see, but I think it is green. If or yeah, if he tries to go for gold, I will take all that gold, and um, it will be an extra set of revenue for me. This was a bit of a lucky RNG. Um, it could be better. There is, you see the vineyard there. That could have been gold. Uh, then I could have taken it for myself. But this is good too. And the starting positions of the other opponents were actually perfect. They start in Bishop, and I think it's Bullhead City is the other name. And here you can see my only mistake of the run. Uh, instead of building two separate rails, stealing from both the cattle farms, I choose to go for this option because it's cheaper, right? But uh, you will see I'll be punished for that later. Uh, yeah, Bullhead City was the name of the other one. Here I'm checking whether he is delivering to Las Vegas or if he's delivering to Bullhead and he's delivering to Bullhead. So in order to cripple his income, I build this robber baron station like this and I will drain him from his oil, which is his only source of revenue. Then I will uh, remove all of the excess rail to get some money back. And here I'm just checking really shortly so that they don't have any extra source of income. So as I've effectively strangled them from their income, they will start selling their stocks. And you can see Jim Hill, he already started. I think Jim Hill is the guy with the oil in Bullhead City. I, uh, you can see also I bought all of my stocks, which is really good. Uh, I, it's it's difficult sometimes your your uh, stock value actually rise too high that you cannot get that in a reasonable time and you need to reset. But this this was really good, really good timing. And I will uh, buy Jim Hill out first as he is already selling his stock, and I here I'm hoping that he will sell his last stock as well as it makes it significantly cheaper for me to buy him out um, and he did so that is really good for me when you when you buy an opponent out your stock value will increase rapidly for a very short for like i don't know 20 seconds or something like that so if you keep if you keep all of your stocks uh, they will increase in value a lot so I try to keep them as long as possible, but I also want to buy Jim Jimmy out, the green guy, because he, of course, when I buy him out, my stock, my stocks will also go up. Here you can actually see that he actually went for the gold, um, so that was good, good call to steal that gold, even if it's only a little. It's still uh, gold, uh, of course, generates a lot of revenue. Uh, this, the actual product. And here you can see what I meant with my only mistake, because Jay did not actually sell his stocks. He was content with the amount of income he could get from the cattle. So he didn't ever sell his stocks, which you can see the price there, 4 million, it's, it's a lot. 
And here I'm trying to play it cool, trying to hold off selling my stocks for as long as possible, but I really wanted to get a sub, sub five minutes. So I sell them now in the last minute and I actually make it in real, uh, I make it in uh, real time, but not in in-game time. So yeah, that's it. Hope you enjoyed. See ya.